we're looking at Ontario, which is leading with 40,000, and in 2022, it's even 42,000. Hello, guys. I found a resource that I want to show you guys about um, Canadian international tuition fees, and this is based on Statistics Canada. I found this information. It's legit, and I checked it, and I know that I know what I'm saying. So this is... Um, this is just a document that's going to tell you in general what you should an idea it's going to just give you a general idea on what to expect for the tuition fee for international students both graduate and undergraduates what you need to pay for tuition okay so based on statistics canada first of all what is statistics canada statistics canada is a national statistics office so it's, it's an agency that ensures that canadians have the key information on canada's economy and the society as well as the environment that they require to be able to function effectively as a citizen and as decision makers so they do they are entitled to that information so so that they can know and have an idea of how they as citizens are contributing to the economy so they need to have any information that is key to them so as i was looking through the statistics canada i noticed that they had an updated information of about the tuition fees for international students as well as for canadians as well so you can also use that as a tool to you know estimate or have an idea of which province you want to study in that's if you are looking at studying in ontario for example you should be looking at having an idea of how much tuition you could be looking at paying okay an average amount so i'm going to show you guys in this in on this website so you can have an idea about what i'm talking about okay so as you can see it says here the canadian and international tuition fees by level of study basically you can see on the on the website that it says the frequency of this is annual so every year this is updated and it's based on the table named this table i don't know what this is but the release date for this was provided 2021 um september i think september 8. so now this is the reference table for what we are looking at so well i was looking at the period from 2020 2021 to 2021 to 2022 because that's the period we are in right so it just makes absolute sense to take a look at that particular time frame within this um years okay then if you have to go back we're looking at the first province so canada has 11 provinces i actually learned i thought there were 10 but that there are 11 actually so we have newfoundland and newfoundland tells us here if you look you see that the international undergraduate tuition so the tuition between the year 2020 and 2021 and 2021 2022 which is where we are now the tuition fee is $12,037 that's for undergraduate students and then um, it stayed the same in 2022 between 2021 and 2022 as well as the graduate students own tuition that's $4,082 which stayed the same as well for graduate students. Now moving on, you go, you see Prince Edward Island is the next one, and Prince Edward Island has an international undergraduate tuition fee of twenty thousand one hundred and thirty eight dollars. So that's the average amount for for if you're looking at studying in those universities. Now it doesn't necessarily mean that the amount of tuition for all the universities there is twenty thousand. No, it's going to still vary, but this is just giving you an idea of the general or an average amount of what you should be looking at, you know, at spending as an undergraduate student in um Prince Edward Island. So you can notice, you notice that in 2022, this amount of 2020 between 2021 and 2022, this amount grew to $20,417. So there was an increment in the tuition, as well as in the graduate tuition fee, which goes from 10,462 to 10,564. Hmm, inflation. Okay now moving on we see nova scotia is the next year and the undergraduate tuition fee that it has for international students is nineteen thousand five hundred and thirty nine and in 2021 and to 
between 2021 and 2022, it grew to $20,397. Hmm, that's interesting. So the graduate tuition for this university is actually more expensive than the undergraduate, which is strange, and that's the first one I've seen so far. So the international graduate tuition fee is $21,000. $999 and $95 dollars and in 2022 and it also increased to tw sorry $23,048 in 2020 between 2021 and 2022 as you can see here right now moving on to New Brunswick New Brunswick has an average undergraduate tuition of $15,713 dollars and in 2021 and 2022 this amount increased to sixteen thousand four hundred and fifty eight dollars that's just to tell you that this this tuition keeps rising like every year like it keeps rising all the time for graduate students it's a bit less so it's like twelve thousand six hundred fifty four which eventually increased to thirteen thousand one hundred and twenty three so this line this column is the current one okay this is the updated one so this one was what was what, be, what was there before that's 2020 2021 and between 2021 and 2022 it has increased to this other column here so this one right um so this column the 2021 and 2022 so where were we we were at new brunswick so now we go to quebec so quebec is the one that is listed here that's the french speaking or the bilingual part of canada um international undergraduate tuition fee is 26,000 was 26,054 and now it's it's gone up to 27,406 dollars i need a breather because this money we don't pick it like this is hard this is money that we are working hard for like we are we are paying huge amount of money yeah huge so moving on the graduate students own tuition in quebec is seventeen thousand seven hundred and ten to eighteen thousand dollars now ontario is the one that blew my mind because i was i wasn't surprised to be honest i wasn't i expected it i was even that was the first thing i was looking at because i wanted to just see how much undergrad how much um ontario has to offer because basically it said it said at the top that canada in canada that the average international undergraduate student is looking at paying thirty two thousand dollars and you know in but in, in 2022 which is currently they're looking at thirty three thousand six hundred and twenty three dollars right but now because of inflation the rise of prices and everything things have changed and they have spiked so now we're looking at ontario which is leading with four hundred forty thousand forty thousand and in 2022 it's even forty two thousand not only forty thousand but forty two thousand yeah yeah and i feel like that's mostly for investor of toronto and then we're looking at the graduate students amount for ontario and it's twenty six thousand two hundred and thirty six dollars hmm. now moving on if you want to go to ontario good luck if you're on scholarship good job but if it's just you that has to pay that money my dear you can rethink it because at the end of the day all this money for that education for a full year program for a full four year program i feel like that's a lot but if you have the money hey go for it no so um now we have manitoba manitoba says that the tuition for undergraduate students international students is 17786 so it was seventeen thousand fifty five before and now it's increased by a couple of hundreds of dollars. So now undergraduates sorry, international graduates for Manitoba is eleven thousand, which is not bad. Eleven thousand four hundred and seventy three and this is eleven eight hundred and eighty seven. Hmm. Okay, so you guys let me just do a comparison here. You see what we pay for 
this is what Canadian undergraduates pay 8,000 and then we are at 19,000. This is just Nova Scotia. That's it's beyond me. It's like three times more. And it's even worse in Ontario because Ontario, you do see that undergraduate students pay 7,000 and on average and for undergraduates and then can you see this this is the difference of over this is like five times or six times more than you know than this yeah like six times more than that six times more this is not in this is crazy <sighs> my heart is even beating okay well let's go to saskatchewan let's not dwell on this because it's going to make me lose my mind um saskatchewan on international undergraduate twenty thousand dollars and five twenty thousand five forty five now it's twenty two one ninety seven um in twenty fifteen to bust your bubbles when i came it was like sixteen thousand and then over the sixteen thousand i think of eighteen thousand and then it's just been increasing and increasing and now we are to that twenty two thousand but guess what the undergraduate tuition for the University of like, Saskatchewan is down to 7,583. But mind you, you know, all this tuition you're seeing here, they haven't added international student fee. So when they add all of those other small, 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 small things, the, the price, the, the amount still goes up, you know. So if you're looking at this amount, this is an estimate. So you have to estimate another, another thousand, okay? But it's all good um now we're going to alberta alberta has an international undergraduate tuition twenty eight thousand and fourteen twenty eight thousand and fourteen dollars uh it was twenty seven thousand before and now it's gone up by hundreds of dollars yeah international graduates for graduate students in alberta they pay fifteen thousand one hundred and sixty seven right now which before was 14,000 in BC BC is quite expensive but I'm even looking at the amounts here and it's, it's still quite high you know because now they're paying $30,000 for two international undergraduates depending on the university I need to stress that enough because some people come and ask me oh but it's 30,000 no make sure you just check this is just giving you an average you know amount based on the survey that was conducted um by statistics canada so for graduate students they pay twenty thousand two hundred and ninety five in bc interesting okay so moving on to yukon yukon is the province that is the smallest province it's part of the northwest territories and that side of canada that's very cold we don't really have many people of course you don't have international people clearly <laughs> we really don't have international students there as you can see from here because you don't even have graduates sort of internationals because nobody wants who wants to go to the court we don't want to freeze okay if you want to freeze you're welcome to go nobody is pursuing you nobody's no one is gonna hold you back if we get the first set of international students that go there that's going to be interesting because you know it's going to pull the crowd and other people are going to go there they do have undergraduate stuff going on here but they have we have no statistics for this three okay so i think clearly we don't have international students in that area for now okay or maybe between 2020 to 2022 nobody showed up because i think they do have school it's cool there as well it's not like they don't have schools they have schools there but <laughs> i don't think they have it at this moment anyways so you guys if you did enjoy this video please do endeavor to give it a thumbs up okay and if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel yet please do make sure you hit the subscribe button down below just hit anything that is in red there subscribe subscribe turn notification bell on like share everything okay it's going to help me up my hustle thank you so much and i'll see you guys in my next video bye bye